Now that you have your DVD and stereo system installed with the video inputs, we're going to show you how to install your backup camera so that it is activated when you go into reverse. So, well, I ordered a stereo that came with a backup camera, so it was all made sure it would all work together. But they're pretty standard, so you just find the video camera that has regular RCA input or output jacks to it, and you should be able to hook up to the back to the video in portion of your head unit on your car. So then you have to figure out where exactly you're going to mount it in the back of your car. Initially, I looked underneath. Maybe I could bolt it to the bottom panel. That didn't work. So I looked at some newer vehicles and found out that it's located normally right next to your license plate area. So I got a little spot right here. I'm going to put it on here. Now, some people, there's been recommendations that some people on the web tell you to go off to your trunk and take this lock out and go ahead and put it in there. If you have a trunk release, yeah, you may be able to do that, and you don't have to put any holes in your car. Of course, if your trunk release cable ever breaks, you're, you have a problem. So I'm going to drill a couple holes here and mount it up here so that it uh, goes in the car. Now, I was going to take this back panel off here. Okay, well, the problem is, is that when you I started looking around and looking around at the back panel, uh, guess what I found? Well, I found the sensor. Uh, it's ABS. That could be anti-lock braking uh, system. It could be uh, airbags. Actually, anti-lock and airbags sort of work together during a collision and everything. So we, we want to not play with that sensor. So I'm not going to rip that back panel off. We're just going to leave it the way it is. And I'm going to find a different way to get the wires to that camera. So to recap, we're going to drill a couple holes here and put the camera in right here next to the license plate. For that, we're going to need some drills to go ahead and drill. And as you can see, these drills are rated for wood, plastic, and soft metal. And, you know, the car exterior usually is enough soft material, depending on what you're going to, to use these kind of drills. So just make sure you have the right ones. So manufacturers have this nice, clean installation that goes from your car's electrical system and goes back into your trunk. So you have things for lights and all that that are built into your trunk. For example, the light illumination for your license plates and everything. And that ABS thing we just talked about, maybe. So it's on this very, very small installation. Now, the video wires to the camera are about much thicker than that. I can't, I could pry that off, but I guarantee you I'm not going to get these wires through that little itty-bitty uh, connector. So we're going to have to come up with a different way to install this and connect it up. Uh, it's not the best solution, not the perfect solution, but it'll work. So what I did is I went out and bought this uh, wire wrap and everything. So I'm going to use this to route the wires, and I'm going to wire tie them to the edge of the trunk here and run the wires through it uh, from the rear of the car into the trunk and to hold it in place uh, for the camera. Now, normally you need two inputs to the camera, one power and a control wire to turn it on and off. But I found this trailer hitch connector in the back that basically sends power to your backup lights to turn them on when you have a trailer attached. Well, that same thing is now going to turn on the camera. So I don't need to control why to turn the camera on and off. I'd simply connect this up to power. So what I did was I found the diagram and all that in the for the car trailer hitch because it is in the towing instruction section of the manual. I connected up the wire to the, the proper place looking at this diagram and I simply uh, taped it in. So now when I put the car in reverse, it's going to go ahead and just turn on the camera. So let's wrap all this up. I put this back there. It's going to shove back into the corner of the car. Very nice, neat, cleat installation. You can't even see it uh, from the trunk. And all it does is go out to the wires going back to the camera and back to the interior of the car. To mount the camera, I was going to have to put two holes for mounting it and one for running the wires. But I took apart the license plate light and I found out I can probably wonder why I was around the edge of this so I don't have to drill that third hole. So now you see the wires are going up inside the license plate light area and there's a, one of the two holes drilled for mounting. So that's how we're going to put your uh, the camera in here and it should work just fine. So to get to your camera in the back, uh, each car is different, but we've uh, reinstalled the stereo, but we ran the car, the wires all the way through the center console here, back through, uh, past the brake here. Then we went underneath and exited it next to the seat, and then underneath the seat down here, we ran the wires along this bridge here. There's a little channel inside there. You can also lift up the side here where all the normal wiring goes through your car. Uh, you continue on to the back. You come around to the back here, and you'll find that there's, of course, another do door channel there as well where all the wires go. You just follow the existing path, path of the wiring in your car, 
and you know, if we take a little peek here, you see there's a little opening there, and it goes right back out to your trunk area, and that's uh, where we're at here. So that, uh, that's where the old connection was, and there's our wiring coming out there, and it comes across the edge there, back up here, and we've attached it to the back of the trunk, hooked up the camera to it, and right through here is where the camera's at. So if we take the trunk here and we pull it down, and we'll see the camera mounted right there on the light assembly. So we're good to go. So here we are, you can see the radio's installed. It's out of all the connections on it. So let's go ahead and back the car up and everything. There goes the camera and sure enough, we can see out. <laughs> Needs a little bit of a horizontal adjustment here. So we have to go uh, change that angle back there. But as you can see, you can see the markings and everything are built into the camera. So you can see uh, how far you have to go while you're backing up. So the only thing left to do now is to check out that uh, navigation music and phone streaming from your Bluetooth phone, uh, the purpose of all this. So let's, uh, let's take a trip.